try to find what kind of data to be on. And just to repeat this again real quickly, we kind of looked at the qualitative versus the quantitative. And we said qualitative kind of has the word quality. It came from the root word quality. So it just kind of describes things. It's things that give you a label, a name, a zip code, um, a color, a city, a number on your jersey. It really doesn't define you as much as just give you a label. Quantitative has some kind of measurement in here. And quantitative can be of the small, medium, large type too. Good, better, best. And sometimes we have ratios where it actually has um, like where it actually has like um, comparison ratio data. So those are the things that we're looking at when we do this. We, we started this a little bit the other day and we didn't get very far. So I just wanted to repeat that part. This is the really important part. The types of data. It goes from lowest to highest. So when they ask you to classify the data, you classify it to the highest level. So a number would also be nominal, could be ordinal, could be interval, but if the highest level is ratio, we give it the ratio level. We, we started to go through this, I think we got interval. So nominal again, kind of sounds like the word mean. This is the number on your shirt. This is your name. This is your zip code. The name of the city you live in. It's just a label. It has no mathematical connection to it in terms of the number. Like if your number is 10 on your jersey, it doesn't mean you're the 10th person on the field. It doesn't mean you're the 10th best. It doesn't mean you hit 10 home runs. So it just is, it represents just you. And they say, hey, number 10. They just called you. That's your name, your number. Ordinal kind of has the word order in here. Easy ways to remember these. Where nominal is qualitative only, ordinal can be both. Sometimes there's a slight difference we can see in the numbers, sometimes we can't. Types of cars, um, subcompact, compact, Jeep size, SUV, gives you a little bit of difference, but we really can't tell where the differences are. We don't know if it's the weight of the cars, they didn't give it to us. Um, if you like something and they say rate it from one to five, least likely, most likely, from one to five, that's an ordinal system. And you have to be careful with those because my rating of one could be your rating of two. So be careful when you use ordinal. It's just a little bit different there. Interval is the tricky one. So all you have to remember is time and temperature. Um, this entry is not an inherent zero. An inherent zero is a zero that says, I have none, no money. I have zero money, no money. This one says, this zero in terms of, say, temperature, is actually a temperature. It doesn't mean no temperature. So there is not an inherent zero in here. This has a, has a meaning in it. And if you went down the line, all the way down to zero, and then down to negative, this zero is a temperature. <clears throat> in temperatures, we could see like for today's temperature was 54 this morning. Yesterday's temperature when we woke up was probably like 84. I'll say 80. So we could say yesterday was warmer than today by 26 degrees. We can say today is 26 degrees cooler than yesterday morning. But we can't say it's twice as cool. There's no measurement for twice as hot. We can say it feels 10 times warmer, but it really, in fact, is not 10 times warmer. It's just a heck of a lot warmer. Time also does that. If, if you think about your time span, putting on hours and days, zero would be zero of the hour. Okay. So time and temperature give you intervals. Ratio is the highest level. Ratio means just this. You can actually make a ratio on this. It doesn't have to be that precise, but I could say um, my age is 50, your age is 25, I'm twice as old as you. I can make a ratio here. Um, 
I weigh 100 pounds, you weigh 50 pounds, I weigh twice as much as you. If we can make any kind of ratio in here, then it's a, it's a ratio level. Sometimes it's not that obvious. I mean, I weigh 100 pounds, you weigh 98 pounds, I still am 100 over 98. So I still can make a ratio from that, but I can't say half, I can't say a quarter, I could say one point something there. So we, anytime you can make a ratio, and you have a zero, that means actually zero. I have zero money. I have no money. You're talking ratio. So these are a little <coughs> tricky, but remember the classification is the highest level. There's also a difference between, you say, what page are you on in the book? Page are you reading? Versus how many pages have you read? So I turn around and I say, what page are you on? So what page are you on? Oh, no, not that. Um, don't tell me. Okay, tell me. Kevin. Kevin. I know there's two Kevins, two Devs. Okay, so what page are you on? What page number? One. One. He's on page one. How many pages have you read, James? Four. Four. They both have numbers. Which one is nominal? Which one is ratio? Good. This is ratio. This is nominal. Why? Why is one nominal? It's just a number. It just represents the number of the page he's on. Miranda is on page 87. He's just on that page, 87. So all it is, it's just a number on the page. How many pages have you read is ratio. James has read four times as many pages as Kevin has read. Can I make a ratio out of that? So be careful in the wording. This, I gotta say, this is one of the trickier ones. <coughs> they both have numbers, but one is nominal, one is ratio. Okay. So let's take a look at some some examples they give us. Two data, data sets are shown. Which data set consists of a nominal? Which consists of an ordinal? So Olivia, which one is nominal of the two data sets? So, top five? I'll uh, the one with the numbers. Oh, they're numbers. They're numbers? Yeah, number two. Number two? Does this have no, no rhyme or reason to it? It's just the name of that category. Is this a genre? Action, adventure, comedy? No, no comparison to either one. This one is ordinal because it says top five. Can I tell how much they made? Can I tell one made twice as much as the other? One made a quarter of as much? So it's ordinal. There's some kind of difference, but I can't really see the difference. Be careful of these. you got to look for the wording. So consider these sets of data. The final standings for the Pacific Division of the National Basketball Association versus a collection of phone numbers. Which one is nominal? Phone numbers. Good. Final standing? Ordinal. There's some kind of difference. Team one, which one came in first place? Which one came in second place? Which one came in third place? I can't tell how many wins, how many losses, but I can tell this one had the most wins. Right? Some kind of order to this. Phone numbers? Just a number. So these are partial listings that I put up here. Which one is interval? Or which one consists of a ratio? If you have to sign the late book and leave your pass, that's great. Which data set con <coughs> consists of ratio? Which one consists of interval? Devin, what would you say? Which one's great ratio?
both had numbers. Probably the second one? Are we ready, Chris? Yes. Second one? Why the second one? Who hit more home runs, Baltimore or Boston? Baltimore. Can we tell how many more? Mm -hmm. So we have some kind of meaning. Can we make a ratio? Can we say that Baltimore hit maybe 1.2 times as many? It doesn't have to be exactly half, but say it was. Can I say they hit twice as much, half as much? 1.2 times, I can make this a ratio. Time, temperature, years are time, intervals. What we're saying from here is there's four year difference in here. There's one year difference in here. Can I say it's twice as many years, half as many years? Mm -mm. I have some kind of difference that I can measure. Time and temperature, always interval. Because I can't say eh, twice as many years here. I'm not looking at how many years in between. I'm just looking at the name of that year. Okay. So you've got to watch what, what, what it is we're looking at. These get tricky. So decide which one's interval, which one's ratio. The body temperatures in Fahrenheit of an athlete during an exercise session versus the heart rate beats per minute of an athlete during an exercise session. Which one's interval? Temperature. Temperature. So his body temperature started at, uh, what is it? 97, 96.7, 97.8, is it 98.6? That's close. And so his temperature went up a little bit. I went to 99.1. So I could say he got a little warmer. There's a little difference here. He went up. 1.5 degrees, but I can't say he's twice as hot. Okay? So, beats per, beats per minute, his heartbeat is going to go up or down when he exercises. Up. So, I could say increased by a certain percentage, that makes me a ratio. <coughs> so, this is your ratio data, this is your interval data. Okay? A little tricky when you get here. Then again, if you put these in order, determine the last one. Everybody that's a ratio is everything before it. Everybody that's an interval, everything before it. So you always want to pick the highest level that you have. Okay. So I'm going to give you some to try. Because these, by far, are the trickiest. It also has another good set of examples on the front page and the back page that I took from a couple different books. Take a few minutes and go through 9 through, 7, 9 through 16. 9 through 16.
Okay, this first one. The heights of women basketball players. It's the oh, highest nice. level that you can get. Nominal to ratio. You're going to give me the highest level that this represents. We have nominal, ordinal, interval, and ratio. So what classification would the high school women basketball play Ratio. Mm -hmm. So if one basketball player is 72 inches and the other basketball player is 70 square inches, there's a difference. There's a difference of two inches, but I could also make this into a ratio. I can compare 72 to 74. It doesn't have to be exactly half or exactly a quarter. It'll still give me a ratio. Okay. Ratings of fantastic, good, average, poor, unacceptable from blind dates. Ordinal? Got some kind of order. Can I tell what? Is one like a two and one's a three and one's a four? It's got some kind of order to this from from fantastic all the way down to unacceptable. They went backwards and that's fine. But I can't tell what the difference is between them. And if I went on a blind date and you went on a blind date and we had the same there was that same person we dated, say I was one of your guys, one of your ages. We dated the same person. I could say he was unacceptable. You could say he was average. It's a very, very different of whose interpretation this is. So you really have to be careful in an ordinal. Remember, it's kind of like my pain measurement. It could be really, really high for me and really, really low for you. So watch ordinal when, if you do any surveys. Current temperatures of the classrooms in your college? Intervals. Temperatures are intervals. So an example, think of the temperatures here. This temperature is a fairly nice temperature. Say this is 70 degrees. If you go over the main office, it's usually stifling hot. It's 90 degrees up there. Is it twice as hot? Is it a quarter of much as hot? It's 20 degrees warmer, but I can't put a ratio on that. The numbers of your jerseys of your women NBA players. Nominal. Good. This is nominal. Consumer Report ratings of Best Buy, recommended, not recommended. Ordinal. Again, can't put a difference on this, but they could state some kind of order. Social Security numbers. Nominal. They get recycled. After a certain amount of years, they all get recycled in. I'm not sure how many years it is. The way after someone deceases, I don't know how long they wait to recycle it. But you can get a, a 001 dash something. It's nominal. It just gives you the name on it. The number of yes responses received when 1,250 drivers are asked if they have ever used a cell phone when driving. What rating is that? So give me an example. What would your answer to this question be? Count the number of yeses you would get. Out of 1,250 people that I asked, how many people could say yes? A thousand. A thousand yes. And how many no's? 250 no's, right? So 1,000 said yes, 250 no's. Can I make a ratio out of this? Can I say five times as many, or whatever it works out to be, about four times as many? People said yes, then no. I can make a ratio, yes. Zip code, nominal. It's just the number that was assigned to that count. Whenever they say this, the number of yeses, you're counting something. Ratio. I could get 200, I could get 100, I could get 50. I can make a ratio out of it. So start with the small one. Start with your nominal. See if you have some kind of order. See if you have an interval. I do have a difference between my numbers. 
can I take that difference and make a ratio out of it? Go in order when you're looking for these. Make sense? Okay, I'm gonna have you try some more. These are by far the trickiest ones. Thirteen to fifteen. One through twenty-five. 